Hi, I'm Bria Graham Glover, and I work for the Department of Hospital Epidemiology and Infection Control, where I'm an infection control epidemiologist. Hello, I'm Sean Brast. I'm the team educator with LifeMind. I've been uh, pretty closely attached to the uh, um, epidemiology group at Hopkins and the reason being is we see a very diverse patient population from all over the world and so uh, exotic illnesses are not uncommon for us. And so uh, with this collaboration we've uh, uh, first started working on uh, uh, patients that were coming into Hopkins for MERS-CoV um, and that has blossomed into uh, patients potentially for Ebola. So we're here today to get a sense of how it is like in the actual environment with our PPE on. Um, we wanted to make sure that we can get the equipment that we use on a daily basis through the ports of the isopot, which is going to be uh, used to contain our Ebola patient, our possible Ebola patient. Uh, so the isopod uh, essentially isolates the patient uh, from the outside. It has the advantage of having both a uh, positive or negative uh, airway system to uh, prevent the transmission of uh, potentially uh, infectious diseases by uh, an airborne route. Uh, it also provides us a barrier for uh, patient contact but also allows us a nice uh, bit of access to the patient. So this simulation that we went through uh, helped us identify some uh, um, uh, potential vulnerabilities in the equipment that we were looking at for gloves and uh, things that we were trialing. Um, it, uh, I think, helped us uh, uh, cement the idea that having this device uh, for us within the system is, is going to be uh, a good idea and being able to transport patients safely. And we all get worries about di different diseases that are going around. Um, we definitely need a lot of practice. Things are different in the book than they are in real life. So we just want to make sure that we are prepared. We are preparing by making sure that we have the right PPE, making sure that the PPE that we are using is effective in the field. It's effective in our office, but how is it going to be when we're actually working with patients? How are the gloves going to hold up? How are our air supply going to hold up? So we are just checking the, the minute things that no one really thinks about that are very, very important in protecting us in case we do have a Ebola patient or a possible Ebola patient.